Guns and badges in Harrisburg. Many of you saw the heavy law enforcement presence around the city. The street crimes unit of the Attorney General's office started a sweep. Our crews rode along with agents. Dave Marcheski witnessed intense moments this afternoon. Dave. Well, Val, guns were drawn on a targeted drug dealer as he tried to stick his three dogs and officers. The arrest that we captured on camera was possibly the biggest on day one of an operation called Shock and All. I have no clue if there's any weapons on this guy, but he has no problem getting dope anytime we're being advised from him. Agents moved on a home believed to have weapons and drugs. A moving curtain signals the unknown. Agents inch closer. People inside don't come out. Then a man makes a dash, quickly landed in cuffs. A woman inside puts the home on lockdown. Yeah, in Additional officers respond. This is the attorney general's office. Just answer your phone. When Minutes you later, she finally lets agents in. I'm oh, sorry, babe. You ain't got the Canine dogs from Harrisburg and Derry Township arrive, ready for work. We are now at the home of Emiliano Reyes. He's a wanted drug dealer. They have a warrant out for his arrest. Agents are now searching his home. Harrisburg Police Chief Tom Carter arrives, watches local, state, and federal officers carry out an operation he's planned for eight months. Because there's been a cry coming out from the citizens that they want something done. So this is our effort, shock and all program to um, get things done. The citywide sweep began in Hall Manor. More than 75 agents carried out 150 arrest warrants. Shantiqua Banks. She's in period. Failure to appear. And true to its name, agents caught many by surprise. Mom, can you come over? Can you come over? Several arrests made on day one. We have all collaborated and come together as one. This is not only a city problem, it is a county problem. People watch as agents canvass neighborhoods. The real serious warrants, yes, I want them all off the street, especially all the murderers. Back on Parkway Drive, agents discovered drugs and cash. More evidence of dealing. Money grip for life, baby. Stop it. <laughs> we will not tolerate any more drug dealing within the city limits of Harrisburg. Go ahead, front. Go ahead. Now, this sweep will continue through the weekend, and the Attorney General's office says they will announce the results on Monday. Working for you in Harrisburg tonight, I am Dave Marcheski, ABC 27 News. Shock and awe. The crime sweep led by the Attorney General's office continues in Harrisburg. Yesterday, Dave Marcheski and photojournalist Eric Heisler accompanied agents as they made several arrests, including intense moments as officers captured a wanted drug dealer. Today, the other side of the shock and awe operation. Dave Marcheski is live at Dauphin County Prison. Dave. Well, now we know justice has two sides, law and order, and this parking lot here behind me is the combination of both. Now, every person in America has the right to a quick and speedy trial, and during shock and all, due process hit overdrive. Every time the paddy wagon pulled up, a parade of alleged perpetrators rolled out. And it really increases the speed with which they can conduct and, and complete an investigation. State Senator Rob Teplitz observed detectives pull information outside the Dauphin County Booking Center. Using state-funded new mobile command centers, agents were able to interview and interrogate. While computer forensic specialists scanned suspects' confiscated computers and cell phones for known accomplices, texts, and photo evidence. It's absolutely fascinating. Uh, I was able to be in there, talk with the staff. As shock and all pilots circled the streets, this prison parking lot became like an airport tarmac, landing more than 50 arrests within 48 hours. An efficient crime-fighting hub that taxied suspects to special agent terminals and shuffled them in front of a judge so the courts could claim their baggage. It's gratifying to see state, local, federal, even law enforcement here working together collaboratively um, to help strengthen the safety of our communities. Now, this sweep will continue through the weekend, so you may see heavy force in your neighborhood. Now, one agent told us one suspect who saw our media coverage yesterday actually turned himself in, saying to the agent, well, I guess you're going to find me anyway. Working for you in Dauphin County tonight, Dave Marcheski, ABC 27 News.